Hello friends, this video on sorting materials into groups part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. State whether the statements given below are true or false. Stone is transparent while glass is opaque. Absolutely false because glass is transparent and stone is opaque. A notebook has luster while eraser does not. This is again false because no, luster is shine. A notebook doesn't have any shine. Chalk dissolves in water. That is again false because chalk powder is insoluble in water. A piece of wood floats on water. That's true because uh, wood has lesser density than water so it tends to float on water. Sugar does not dissolve in water. That's again false because sugar is highly soluble in water. Oil mixes with water. That is again false because oil and water never mixes completely. Oil will always remain on the top of water. Sand settles down in water, that's true because sand doesn't mix with water. Vinegar dissolves in water, that's also true. It, it, they, like, they mix up very well and you cannot see, cannot distinguish them from each other once they are mixed. Question number 5. Given below are the names of some objects and materials. Water, basketball, orange, sugar, globe, apple and earthen pitcher. Group them as round shape and other shapes. So we have grouped them this way. So you have been given two groups, round shape and others. Now out of these objects which are round in shape, basketball, orange, globe, earthen pitcher, apple. So these are all more or less round in shape. Whereas water and sugar are not. So they have been put under the group of others. Eatables, non-eatables, something that you can eat, that is can, that can be eaten. And non-eatables that something that cannot be eaten. So see water, orange, sugar and apple, these are something which we eat. But can you eat a globe? No. Basketball? Of course not. Earthen pitcher? Again, no. So these are the non-eatables. So see, this is how we actually sort materials based on their properties. And then we separate into two or three groups and we keep putting them into their respective group. Question number six. Find the odd one out from the following. Chair, bed, table, baby, cupboard. So if you look at it, all of these are furnitures. All of these are non-living substances except the baby. Baby is living. So baby is the odd one out. Rose, jasmine, boat, marigold, lotus. So you see these are all flowers. Rose, jasmine, marigold, lotus. So boat is the only odd one out. Aluminium, iron, copper, silver, sand. So here you see aluminium, iron, copper, silver. These are all metals. So sand is the odd one out. Sugar, salt, sand, copper, sulfate. So you see sugar is soluble in water. Salt is again soluble in water. Copper sulfate is also soluble in water. But sand is insoluble. So sand is the odd one out. So I hope that um, with these you are getting an idea about how uh, sorting materials is important and how sorting materials based on their properties can help us. So I think uh, all that you can do as part of your assignment is just look around, see different objects, try to find out their properties, try to think that why a bottle is made up of plastic, try to find out that why uh, your pen is made up of a metal. So you try to analyze things on your own and uh, I assure you that your understanding will be better. So uh, with this, we will conclude this lesson and I hope that this lesson would have helped you. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.